It takes a long time for a tree to grow big enough to be able to have a real measurable effect. The larger the tree, the more leaves it has, the more it's producing oxygen and, and cleaning the air for us. In our parks, we're very sensitive to providing and improving animal habitat. So not only are there birds that might pass through, but there's a lot of insects that use trees. Another great thing about planting trees is it's just a feel-good community event. Everyone that comes out and plants trees goes home with a real sense of accomplishment but they're doing something for future generations. And um, so that always has kind of an inherent feel good quality to it. Trees create shade on impervious surfaces, which helps deter that heat. They help cool things down by evapotranspiration, by putting water back out into the air in intense heat and causing reflection off of the leaves versus reflection right off of the pavement. One thing that is important to establish is that it's not just city government that can make an impact on the declining tree canopy or these intense urban heat islands. The community overall need to make an impact. It is partners like Trees Louisville, Louisville Grows, Olmstead Parks Conservancy, other city entities, what they do with the properties they manage. Residents in Louisville especially should care about this because this has significant health impacts. This heat that is produced in these urban heat islands causes uh, you know, just stress on the human body in the respiratory area. This lack of trees and increased heat, this encourages more air pollution to be ingested into our bodies. To be a part of a competitive city, I think trees have to be considered part of the infrastructure. We have to rely on the community as a whole to step up. All right, now remember the lasagna technique. To make this issue better around. for us oh, and really for future generations, for this city to prosper.